curious what you think is the risk assumption that folks are willing to make with some of these new and emerging systems. Well, I'm glad you said risk. I'm glad you didn't say what is my critical high, medium, low. That provides me no analysis of risk to the end user. And I think as we look at risk, we should be allowing the end user to actually make the risk. The warfighter in the field is the person who owns the risk. We don't give them a gun and tell them, here's two bullets, no more are coming. But we do give them software with no tail end support, no long term roadmap, no approach, and we just deliver it to them with no kind of long term follow up. I think I would push back on that, and I, I don't fully agree. I think putting the risk on the warfighter, you're going to see decreased adoption, a lack of trust. And I think you have to create this environment where there is a safety net, where an authorizing official has said, yes, I, as the AO, am going to assume this level of risk. and. Oh, by the way, here's why I'm assuming this level of risk and here's how you leverage the system so that I am still assuming the risk. Otherwise, then I would agree. I think it is on whoever is using it if they use it out of the bounds of that ATO. You know, I see, you know, new organizations are saying we need to build new mm -hmm. cybersecurity processes for AI models. Why do we need to build something new? We have existing standards for how we write our business systems to weapon systems, mm -hmm. how we assess, how we secure and how we make sure that we're doing those in an ethical manner. Why are we doing something different for AI? Well, I think there's a push to try and leverage AI to then accredit AI. And I personally think that's opening this Pandora's box of how are you going to daisy chain writing one accreditation? The writing the test and assessing right. the test all in the right. same time. Right. And I just, I don't personally think that that's a sustainable way to go about it because at some point the buck has to stop somewhere. Well, I think we can all agree that the end goal is to deliver secure systems for our warfighters and that we can all get behind that. Yep. I totally agree.